Okay, now we're going to start this thing up again. I've cut the sound on this thing uh, because it interferes too much. Now notice our amp draw is up uh, you know, almost 16 amps. And I'm going to start covering it up. And as I cover it, you can see the amp draw drop. The more I cover it up, the more the amp draw goes down. So what we're looking at is the amount of air that's actually being moved. That's what's going on here. It's the work being done. When I block it off, I'm not moving any air. And the more I block it off, the less air goes out, so the less air is moved from point A to point B. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to show how this type of fan works. Normally you would think that if I put a restriction in the flow, that would increase the load, but that's not the case. And you see there's plenty of air moving on this thing. You can see it by that paper. This is moving a lot of air. And it's moving air from point A to point B. That's the biggest thing about this. That's what's going on here. We use this when we're talking about uh, duct work. When we're putting these things in duct work, these things work against the static pressure. And the more static pressure I put up against it, just like that cover right now, the more static pressure I push against it, the less it moves, the lower the amp draw. We use this to determine what speed to run our fans and, and things like that, whether we've got plugged up uh, parts of the ductwork, we can tell something about it by the amp draw. But the amp draw will be lower than normal if there's a restriction of flow. Okay, this needs to be thoroughly understood before you move on with this thing because you need to understand about these blowers. These blowers are static pressure blowers. They work against the static pressure. They actually have to have static pressure or they won't work properly as you can see here. This thing was drawing more power than it was designed to draw with it wide open. So it's actually designed to work against the static pressure. And there's static pressure, uh, we'll discuss static pressure more later, but it's, it's resistance to flow is all it is. And uh, heat exchangers, uh, duct work, and all these sort of things contribute to this. And we can determine if we have enough airflow by the amperage draw of the unit. And that's the squirrel cage blower. We're going to take it apart. Uh, and uh, see how it uh, see what it takes to put these things back together and how to assemble them and so on.